West Age 1 and we're here at the Roadhouse in central London, a 1950s diner. Why, I hear you ask. We're here to meet Ben Goddard, star of Million Dollar Quartet. He's downstairs, so let's go down and find out what's going on. Ben Goddard, we're down here at the Roadhouse in Covent Garden. London's famous Roadhouse. They do a, a great thing here called Rocky Oki on Mondays and Wednesdays. Well, I've actually sung down here a few times. You come here and sing for fun after singing all day and all night. Absolutely not. I would never do that because I'm a, I'm a true professional. And there's no way that you'd want the producers to find out. <laughs> no way. They never would find out. <laughs> you've starred in quite a host of West End shows. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about some of the big ones that you've done. I, did, I guess my first, well, my first role in musical theatre was playing Judas Iscariot in Jesus Christ Superstar, which I did on tour in 1998 to 2000, the, the Gail Edwards tour for Andrew Lloyd Webber, and that was... Um, Massive. Yeah, it was an incredible experience. I'd not done a musical before, um, and it was, uh, it was something I'd kind of always wanted to do. I'd done a lot of singing, a lot of rock singing and acting before that, but... Uh, I, n I never thought I'd be playing a, a role like that, and it really is kind of the best role. And what about the other roles? You've done <coughs> Much Ado, I believe. Some I've done Much Ado, do. yeah, I've done lots of do. Much Ado, um, As You Like It, Romeo and Julia, I've done loads. I did a season at the park, did a What a Lovely War in the Park as well. Yeah, I've had a, I've, I'm very lucky, Simon. I've had a really great career, and, and, um, in, and I'm still enjoying it, which is a mark of it, really. Do you get to work closely with Mr. <coughs> Webber? Um, yeah, I, I, I remember rehearsing the, the duet which Hannah and I did in The Beautiful Game, um, uh, Let Us Love in Peace, which was, uh, so I'm smiling because there was one particular time on stage which Hannah and I always talk about where we really badly corpse. But anyway, Tell us that, that before you go any further. Oh, she sang Chinese at me. <laughs> I mean, she really, truly sang Chinese at me. She just imagined, started singing and then she went <laughs> well she completely and utterly lost it and uh, that was it and the end of the song is supposed to finish <laughs> just for fun think of one ordinary day we're supposed to kiss and I lit she went <laughs> and I went <laughs> and we just legged it off stage <laughs> to silence it was one of the most embarrassing moments but one of the happiest <laughs> memories of my career God bless you Hannah Waddingham yeah. Sorry, we were talking about. <laughs> we were Andrew talking Lloyd about Andrew Lloyd Webber. <laughs> yes, we, I remember. Yeah, amazing working on, so, literally with with Simon Lee at the piano and Andrew standing there and working on that duet and, and it was an incredible time and, and watching how he puts shows together and he's very hands on and, and amazing to watch. Wow. <laughs> How is it going? It's going very well. We're having a um, we're having a lovely time. We've been going about five six months now. Uh, opened at the beginning of the year, and uh, whenever a new show opens in town, it's you know we don't you, you don't really know how it's going to take, but we're selling very well, and this show is being received really really well, and the audiences are up and jiving and dancing and having a great time. So hopefully that speaks for itself. You started playing the piano at three years old. Yeah. That's coming handy. Yeah, it, it has. Because <laughs> uh, it's taken a few years to get to playing Jerry Lee, but there's very few times in your career that a role comes along that you think, I literally do feel that I was born to play that role. So, um, <laughs> Tell me about your fingers, because they must take a real battering playing Jerry. They do, um, and they're, they're suffering a bit. When we first started the show, I had a lot of problems with it, and I spoke to Levi Christ, who played the role on Broadway, about what to do, because in the first couple of days of rehearsals, um, I ripped my nail off doing nice. the gliss on the piano and blood went everywhere. Nice. And then um, I've done that a couple of times since during the show. And so I spoke to Levi and he had great advice on taping. And what I do now is I tape the fingers with like plaster tape and then I cover them in super glue so they go rock hard. And then I put false nails on top of these two and on the thumb wow. um, because it's quite it's quite impressive. It's a bit like Pulp Fiction. When they do, when I do catch it and they rip and they bleed, because of course you're under white light as well it's on stage, everywhere. it just looks like a horror Horrific. film. It's brilliant. Although I have to say, it looks pretty rock and roll, which I quite like. But you're playing Jerry Lee Lewis. There's only one way to play rock and roll. That's as if you're never ever going to play the song ever again. And that's it. That's the rules. You just said there, obviously Jerry Lee Lewis is your lead. What is it like filling, filling massive shoes like his? You can't. You can't fill shoes of, of someone who 
is uh, a an absolute genius. Uh, B has through his work has become iconic beyond iconic. So all you can do is try and um, really discover the spirit of what Jerry was trying to do in 1956, and um, and hopefully that spirit of what it might have been like to be in Sun Studios in 1956, how that spirit manifests itself. And an amazing amount of camaraderie with the boys is it like being in, a, in your own band with the yeah, boys? Yeah it really is and uh, I think that's what's so that it's so lovely to go into to work every day knowing that you're going to see those guys and it really does feel like we're in a band and there's nothing like being in a band there is nothing like that What about your hair? You know, you've obviously got to have a signature hair. I have, style. Um, I have, I have the kind of slick back size, and, and Jerry, the, 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 they curl my hair for, for the Jerry Lee look. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I think Jerry Lee, I, I luck out a little bit in the um, in the fashion stakes because Jerry Lee, at this stage in, in, of the story, truthfully, he was there as a session piano player for for, for a, a recording session for Carl Perkins, and he was a nobody. He hadn't uh, recorded Great Balls of Fire by this stage. So um, I like how Elvis, however, obviously is a huge star yeah, by then. Johnny hugely. is a huge star by then. And Carl is a huge star by then. So they all turn up looking pretty sharp. So I kind of, until we, we have a, a great, it's the bit that our director, Eric Schaefer, calls, this is the Broadway magic, where we fly in, <laughs> fly in the, um, <laughs> it's true. Oh my God, you're going to love this. Wonderful. Uh, we fly in sparkly jackets, we put those on, and those are quite something to, to behold. They're really heavy as well. Dressing rooms, are you scrapping for the best one? Do you all share? How does it work? Uh, no, we don't all share. Um, El it's so funny. Michael Malarkey plays Elvis and Derek Hagen, who played Johnny Cash, they have the, the big star dressing room downstairs, but they share it. and uh, <laughs> it's, it's right next to the stage entrance and um, they, they've got that state. They've got that. I'm upstairs by myself, um, right next to the stage door, which is, which is good. I uh, don't want to walk to go. Uh, not too many stairs. Save those old ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do we fight over them? Yeah, probably. But um, <laughs> that is all dealt with by agents, and, and we kind of, you know, let them get on with it. If you could see yourself as a ten-year-old now, look back. What advice would you give to ten-year-old you? I don't know. I, I I like to think that I could advise the ten-year-old me to work harder at school and all that stuff. But I think the mischievous me at school and the, the things that I did work on, mucking around with my mates, all those things have kind of added up in a weird equation to what I do now. So um, I was always cheeky and I was always a bit of a show off. Um, and no matter what my parents told me that, you know, and how much they controlled it, yes, I learned discipline through various facets of schooling, but to be honest, I think all, all the mucking around also helped as much. That's a terrible thing to say, <laughs> isn't it? Don't well, work hard The mucking up made yet. You've just got to have the faith to leap and, and hope that the industry catches you. That's, that's how it works. There's, you can't be an actor and, and not commit to it fully. And I think that's all I can say is if, you, if you're going to do it, do it. Don't try it, just do it. If you want to be an actor, be one. Yoda, yeah. there is, you know, there is no, what is it? There is no, cannot just try or whatever it is. I can't remember what Yoda says. I wish I was proficient. Everybody should watch language. Star Wars. <laughs> That's what this comes down to. Yoda okay. is right. Perfect. Thank you very much for your time. Anytime, Sonny. <laughs>